Well, hello guys, hope y'all are having an awesome, awesome day. So I am working on this ruffle dress. So I just, I found some fabric, so I did like a sample dress. So then when I can determine on how I want to put it together. So I got the pieces together. So now I'm working out the, the ruffle. So I guess in my mind, I'm thinking like, I wanted this to kind of be like, clouds like really poofy and you know like it's some clouds so it's it'll be off the shoulders but really poofy and this fabric got some very pretty detail in it so I'm gonna put the top piece and then I gotta put some eyelets in the back and then I'll um I guess partially I don't even know if I'll be able to try it on because when I put the lace up in the back because I wind up you know, with all the alterations, it was fitting funny, so I was like, ah, I had to uh, take it off and do it over. So that made the back of the dress smaller, so I lost some of the back. So now I'm going to put the eyelets in the back, so I'm not going to be able to, like normally you can kind of partially zip it, but I'm going to have the eyelets in the back. So we're going to have to go from there, right, Gino J? We're going to have to go from there. We're going to have to go from there. I got to help my mama. So I'm going to try to finish putting it together. So this is my sample. So when I make it again, I will have in my mind how I want to do these ruffles. So y'all stick around. Guys, this is my first time doing this. And if I could get this right, this would be my ultimate cloud dress. Like, um, when you first do something, it is a little intimidating because you mess up. So, and especially this, that's why I love spandex fabric because spandex fabric is more forgiving. So, um, yeah, this is something new. So, you got to get it and, you know, get it good. So, I'm putting the ruffles to the top of the dress. So, when I get it all secured, I'll come back. But if I get it right, it's going to be the ultimate cloud dress. Okay? Okay, guys. Poof! <laughs> so this dress is not finished, guys. I am still working on it. So I'm trying to figure out the flower situation. As you can see in the mirror, there's no zipper or nothing in the back. So I still have to uh, put... I'm not, I think I'm going to do an eyelet because um, with this fabric, I was working on it. And, you know, this one is a sample. So... You know, when, you, when you're doing something for the first time, things start to go wrong. Gino, stop. But um, I'm going to put an eyelet in the back. So if you ever wind up making a dress, guys, and it's too small, you can put the corset thing in the back. So it'll give you the space that you need because, yeah, it's going to be too small in the back when I get up at the top. So um, and the way I'm trying to design it where you could be able to wear it, you could put it. Up on your shoulders, if you chose to, it can go up or you can do it down. But I, I want this to be really fluffy, fluffy, um, and I didn't have any interface. And so I think the next time I revisit it, I'm going to get some interfacing and, and, and get that going. So it's not finished. But just kind of what I was working on, just putting stuff together and um, working on it. So, yeah. So, I'm going to put an eyelid in the back and, you know, different little stuff. So, I always try to do a sample before I come up with the final um, project. So, yeah, I wouldn't be able to put this one on myself. I definitely would need some help. So, I just want to kind of show y'all what I'm working on. So, basically, guys, this is a tube dress. So, you would make a tube dress and you make a tube dress your size and then you take a full rectangle piece and make it as long and as long as wide as you want i took elastic at the bottom so you see this i uh, lined it up and i took elastic and took it all the way down through the bottom and then for going all the way around the waist and the back and when you get right here so this armhole guys leave a space so your arm can go through leave a space so your arm can go through and you will know where your arm go through. Leave the same amount of space on each side at the armhole when you put it on there. And then you'll do your zipper. Wire. But it's a lot of videos on YouTube showing you guys how to make this dress. But I wanted to try. I never made one before. So I watched a couple videos. I'm like, 
let me make a dress so i would call these like when i get it together to the way that i want it and you know get it fastened and the eyelets in i would call these my cloud dresses because i actually want them to be more fluffy so y'all know what i was thinking of y'all know the cotton that you make bears with and stuff animals and pillows and washable stuff i'm thinking about to give it that puffy fluffy i'm thinking about some of that you know when i'm doing it put it in there you know they don't do that they use a lot of interfacing but i was just saying i want it to kind of be really fluffy and puffy so guys but that's what this is what i'm working on so you guys have a happy friday and when i get it all done if i one day have somebody to help me lace it up in the back i can put it on again gino could you lace up my dress come up here and lace up my dress lace it up get up here lace up that dress lace it up lace it up you got me okay you got me okay so gino then lace me up <laughs> it's so crazy so you guys have a happy friday okay talk to you later toodles